how to do a little bit of motion tracking. Um, so this is my example just off of a basic video clip that I have. You can see I have a little bit of depth of field going on as well. Um, that you don't need to do. I'll show you how to do it as well though. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and make a new composition. I'm going to title mine motion track four. Hit OK. It doesn't matter background color. Um, you can use anything for this. I happen to have some green screen footage. So I'm going to be using that. Let's see here. And dropping it in. Okay. Um, once I bring it in, uh, you don't want to use this whole thing. You want to actually get an area where maybe your face does not rotate a whole ton. Um, this one actually worked okay for me. I could probably be better. Um, I'm going to hit end to set a, an end point. I'm just going to right click and trim my comp to my work area. Next thing I'm going to do with this video layer clicked, I'm going to go to this tracker option. You can also go, I believe, to, uh, let's see, animation or layer or something up here to get to this. Let's see. Uh, animation track camera track motion so I'm gonna go to tracker though that's also a window you can get to and I'm just gonna say let's track um, motion so it comes up with this little tracker and what I want to do is place this somewhere that is kind of gonna be always in visibility or within visibility so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna move this whole box over to my eye to the corner of my eye this inner box is kind of like the thing that it's going to track. So I'm going to actually make that bigger. And this is my tracking area. So I don't want that to be too big, but I want it to be enough where, um, where, you know, this is kind of within reason of, of space for this thing to look for that, that, um, item. So I just kind of drag that out. And again, I'm just clicking in the middle and move those things around. Uh, make sure I leave my, uh, plus point in there as well. Okay. So, uh, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to my options and I want to say built in, I'm going to go with luminance. Uh, these are just different settings for what you have filmed and then stop tracking if the content is below 50%, meaning so if it doesn't know where your eye is or what it's tracking, it'll stop and then you can fix it if need be. So I'm going to hit okay. And then I'm going to go and I'm actually going to create a null object. So I'm going to go to new null object and I'm going to call this uh, target. And what I want to do is I want to link this together. So I'm going to go to up here to my tracker and I'm going to hit edit target. And it, you can see it's already tracked to that. So I'm going to hit OK. And um, actually, even before I do that, uh, what I want to do is hit play here. So this is going to track my eye. And you can see it's kind of working. If it stops, then it gets off track. Now there, it jumped a little bit, which is not good. But um, I, I could go and fix it. Uh, right now, I'm just going to see how this looks. Um, and then I'm going to go backtrack as well. So I'm going to track this whole thing backwards. And hopefully, it might not even jump this time. Eye to eye, that'd be great. It just kind of went with that one. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so now I, I went to my edit target that's linked up, and I'm going to hit apply. And I want to say apply dimensions X and Y, okay? So now we have our, you can see there's a lot of stuff here. I'm going to hit U um, just to kind of collapse that down. Uh, what I want to do next is I'm going to open up my target, and I'm going to actually hit position. And um, I'm going, I'm sorry, I don't need to do that on target. I'm going to create a new null object. So right click new null object. And this one we're going to call um, controller. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit um, P on the controller and I'm going to hit P on my target. And I'm going to alt click on the position uh, stopwatch for my controller. And what I'm going to do is just drag this position to follow this position. Okay. So we have basically two nulls. This one is going to control what our text does, which is follow the face. And all these are just kind of linked up. You need this null object to be able to kind of function within this. Okay. Next step, I'm going to right click. Actually, I'm not going to right click. I'm going to go up to my type tool and just type some text. All right, you can edit this in terms of size, but just be thinking about where you actually want this to be. Okay. So I want it to start over here. I'm also going to layer, transform it, center it. I don't know if that will make a difference, but if it does, um, I'll mess with that later. Um, and then uh, what I want to do is I want to parent this test to the controller. And at this point, if I hit play, my test text should follow my face as I move through. 
So the next demo will go through some of the other things like taking out the green screen, which we've gone over, and then doing some of the 3D um, spacing stuff.